We can see these small pieces of plastic that have just been found on the beach. And the problem is that these plastics will last for a very long time. They will gradually decompose into very small plastic particles, which are called microplastics. And these microplastics, besides polluting our environment, have now entered our food chain. As part of the Nenu Too Far project, we're working with marine bacteria that we've collected off the coast of Brittany, on mollusks such as cockles or clams. We use the bacteria with algae, and in particular microalgae that are grown in the CEA in Cadarache, and that allows us to extract starch and sugars. The combination of sugar extracted from microalgae and marine bacteria makes it possible to develop fermentation processes that allow us to produce so-called bio-based plastics, meaning plastics made from renewable resources, with sugar from microalgae and marine bacteria taken from the seafloor, to produce biodegradable plastics, which have actually been shown to rapidly biodegrade in the marine environment. Biodegradable plastic materials, in my opinion, are only intended to replace plastics in some niche markets. We shouldn't aim to develop biodegradable plastics for all intents and purposes. Collecting and sorting the waste remains the first priority. As for biodegradable plastics, they provide a solution where their use is justified, when they are used in direct contact with the environment, the marine environment in particular, or for uses in which plastics will inevitably end up in the environment.